Good morning po sa lahat. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Pwede sabihin mo sa tabi mo, you are blessed today. Amen. And I believe pwede mong sabihin sa kanila na you are protected. Amen. 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 Na para po magturo today. Amen? Pwede mo sabihin mo sa tabi mo na you are blessed to be in here, kapatid. Amen. Hallelujah. Pero tayo siguro malakas na lang ng konti nung sa mai. Bago po tayo mag-start, there is something po in my heart that the Lord wants us po na malaman today. I don't know if you've noticed na para po itong panahon na to, yung buong mundo po has been beset by fears. Especially po tayo, one of the uh, country po na beset ng fear is the Philippines. Ngayon na, lately lang po, nagkaroon po tayo ng scares about sa volcano, kahit sa Tahal. Ngayon na po ngayon, very latest, is that yung pong sinasabi nilang uh, coronavirus. Amen? And alam niyo po, in, in, in the time of um, fear, in the time po na parang uh, pag-aagam-agam, you know what, the Lord wants us to always run to His word. Amen? Uh, I believe po na makakatulong na tayo ay alert, tayo ay aware. But if there's anything that the Lord wants para yung puso mo ay maging at peace. In the time na parang ikaw ay natatakot, na baka ikaw ay mahawa, o kung ano yung mangyari sa'yo, magtutok ng vulkan, at nalaman po namin, dito lang, through grace, na yung po pala itong church na to ay 50 kilometers, 40 kilometers lang po yung layo sa sa Taal. O yung way, nakala ko po, malayo. Kaya ba na siya malayo dahil sa road? Pero yung Taal naman, pag pumutok po yan, hindi naman siya mag-o-obey ng, ng road. Sa, 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 sa buong sa conference, um, uh, pag tinamahan siya, ang sabi ko ang, 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 ang pinaka-real danger zone is yung from 0 to 13. Pero yung 13 to 50, medyo dinikado na rin po. So, sama ko parang if you would allow those news pumasok sa puso mo, magkakang garantako. At pwede mong sabihin, the way you combat yung mga news na yun is by rationalizing na hindi, di ba? Di kung ano naman yan, hindi mo nangyari yan. But the best way is to run to his word. So kapag yung puso mo ay parang kabang-kabana, natatakot, the best way to combat those fears is to run to the Lord. Run to his word. And there is a word that the Lord wants us to receive today. Okay, many of you will give me a message ko. Gusto ko lang po i-discuss o gusto ko lang po i-release at the very start ko ng ating message. Especially sa kumakalat na virus ngayon. Especially sa to God with the glory, kumaba na po yung alert level na taal from level 4 to level 3. Pero kahit ano pa yung nangyayari, this is the word of the Lord. Psalms 91, verse 1. Sabi po is this. Mamaya po siguro after ng worship, we would like po na i-release tayo for this whole week, releasing po this mighty verse of the Lord. Sabi po is this. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and the Lord. In Him, I will trust. Amen. Sabi po, I will say of the Lord, pwede bang ngayon po, I will see in the vision, na kapag mayroong news, Thanks, thanks be to God. Na at this moment, wala pa pong virus na kumakalat po ito sa Philippines. But hindi po naman sa magkasalita po ako ng anghel. But if ever dumating tayo doon, you know the real way to combat is to say, I say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Ano po yung sabihin ng fortress? Ito yung castle. Na kahit may lumalawan sa'yo, you are my fortress. Alam nyo, again, sa virus, wala kang pwedeng gawin. Kahit ano gawin mo, sarado dun sa pinto mo, by the way, uh, ngayon po ay medyo flu season. De, de, no, uh, kahit pa the Lord is our refuge, you know po, pwede po bang, dinamit ko tabi mo, dahil mahal kita, 
Kapag ako yung inuubot si Missy Poor, mag-prepare ako ng mask. Okay? Um, kahit pa, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is my fortress, and I believe that the Lord will protect you, I believe that the Lord will protect me, but because I love you. Right? At kailangan ko naman magsimba, I want the suit to magsimba, pero kapag ako ay si Missy Poor na inuubot, I will wear mask. Amen? Amen. Um, Sana po yung ibang din ako sa'yo. Amen? Because of the love of our others. Sabi mo, I will say of the Lord. Ito pa sa'yo siya ng few bosses, parang malagang malapit na siyang ano yun, yung bumiyok. Alright? I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him, I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fallen. Alright? Thank you, darling. And from the perilous pestilence, he shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. Sabi po kahapon, gumising po kami na yung aking punso nga na kayo lalagda, nahawa po doon sa kuya kaya na nilagda last week na. Pero abang inaayos po namin itong aking punso, yung pong aking pangalawa, nakayupyuk sa arms. So ginawa ko po doon sa pangalawa ko, nilayup po siya kasi po, magkatabi sila ng dalawa ni Pongki. Si Pongki yung nilalag na. Ang ginawa ko po, nilagay ko siya, nilipat ko siya. Kasi sila po yung magkatabi, nilipat ko siya sa kapilang side. Ako yung kumapit na. At ang ginawa ko po is, siniksik ko siya sa pilipili ko. Yung, yung head niya naka, nakapatong sa, sa arms ko. And then, iyakap ko po siya na parang as if to shield him dun sa, sa aking anak. So, alam ko na siya yun ang hawa. Right? Uh, alam ko po na mataas na rin yung kanyang uh, anti-bodies regarding God. But still, I was shielding him. And right there and then, the Lord said to me, that is how I hide you under the shadow of my wings. Kung paano niyupi po yung iyong anak at nasa pinikili mo siya and you are now protecting him by your body and at tawag ko na nakayakap ka every time you read Psalms 91 and you say the Lord is my refuge He hides me under the shadow Imagine yung anak mo na nakayupi yung sa akin That's how your father is with you. Amen? Masabi? Sabi po rito, He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Pwede ba sabay sabay diba sa akin, verse 6? Nor of the pestilence. Ano ba ba yung pestilence? Pestilence is disease. Pestilence po is yung plague. Sabi na po, kapag in darkness na hindi mo alam, hindi mo nakikita, andyan yung pestilence, andyan yung disease, sabi ni Lord, He shall cover you with His feather. Your only part is to say, I say of the Lord, He is mine. Pwede po bang i-encourage mo kayo sa mga mas ninyo, nakalagay, I say of the Lord, He is my refuge. So, sabi po, nor of the pestilence that walks, in darkness. Amen? Nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Destruction. Ano nyo po? Last, last Sunday, nung after po tayo i-dismiss, that was the time yung mungutok yung vulkan. It was almost noon. Alright? Noonday. Destruction. Yun yung kasiraan. Sabi ni Lord, you are protected. Amen? Amen? Ano nyo po? Ang part mo is saying, quiet down my soul. Rest my soul. As I am protected, I say of the Lord, He is my refuge. And yun ang encourage po, brothers and sisters, sa sa mga posting nyo, talaga po lahat po tayo ay medyo mapamatanda, mapabata, ay medyo active sa Facebook. Amen? Pwede po ba instead of posting things na medyo nakaka-worry, post those things, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in me. Amen. 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 It shall not come near. Amen. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, 
even the most high in your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any coronavirus. I love it. I would like to challenge every Jesus King of Kings member today. The more that I talk about the news, I I would like to challenge you right now. Write it down. All right. Sa sa right now, the Psalms 91. We're going to go to the National Bookstore. Then place it in your doors. Place it where. But 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 if you want to come out, place it sa sa taas ng ng isa ng mga to see. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you. Then, instead na i-secure mo yung sarili mo by rationalizing, run to His Word. And let His Word quiet down your soul and say, No evil shall be born, nor shall any plague come in your life. Amen? Hallelujah? Amen? No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come in your dwelling, for He shall give His angels charge over you to keep you in all of your hands. In all of these things that binasa natin, the Lord is hiding you in His arms. That the Lord is protecting you. What is our part? To say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God. May it be your anthem today. The more na may mga madaling news na pangit at hindi maganda, na hakatako, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. And then He is my fortress. Refuge is tabuan. Fortress is yung pwede mong puntahan na hindi ka pwedeng uh, tapag ito subuhin ng kalaban. He is my refuge. Pwede mo sa inyong sakali mo? The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my refuge. Amen. Hallelujah. May katap mo tayo nyo nung um, uh, He who dwells in the secret place of the most Tandaan ko siya ito. Hindi na ko namin. Amen. Hallelujah. Ewan ko po ako po ay na-encourage dito. Kasi po, you don't need na hindi makita before you declare it. Sabi nga ng Bible, you declare it first and then you see it. Even though sa aming mong bahay mismo, para kung pwede ko sabihin, nagkasakit si David, nagkasakit ako, nagkasakit na yung asawa ko, nagkasakit si Ponky. Pwede sabihin namin may play, pero not because na experience namin, that's the truth. The truth of the matter is, sabi ng Bible, when I say of the Lord, He is my refuge. No clean. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ my victory. Hallelujah. Amen. I love you, part na yung ano na yung ano. Oh, the cross of Jesus Christ is the reason I'm alive. For His blood has set me free. Ngayon, ngayon, it will never lose its power for me. Whether magkano to o hindi, it will never lose its power for me. It will never lose its power for me. So, paano yung Israelites? Nilagay nila yung blood sa doorposts. And then the angel of death came and passed by. Sabi ng Bible, that same blood will never lose its power over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. Can you give the best love offering to our God? Doctrines. For it is good. 
Anyone repeat after me? It is good. It is good. For it is good that the heart be established by this. Sabi nito, do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines. Sabi nito sa ibang translation teachings. Okay, sabi nito, huwag ka daw matangay ng iba't ibang klase. Kakaiba, iba't ibang klase yung teaching. Sabi nito, Lord, because the most that the Lord wants you to know and to learn, it is good. Parang sila ni Lord, kung ginawa ko yung heaven and earth, sabi niya, it is good. Alright? Kung kinrate ko yung man, it is good. Kung kinrate ko na yung, yung animals, it is good. Sabi ni Lord, it is also good. When every believer and every children of mine, their hearts are established in grace. Okay. Alright, sabi po, kamaya po, uunti-untihin ko namin yan. Sabi po, it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. I am here po, standing here in front of you today, to remind you and to also inform and to also declare that the Lord loves Him above anything else, that your heart be established in grace. Pwede ba sabihin mo sa tabi mo, God wants your heart established in grace. In other words, kapag kung sakali po kayo, tayo ay namatay, at ako po ay namatay, at nagkaroon po ng autopsy, at in-autopsy po yung aking puso, pag-react ng doktor sa puso ko, na lumalabas, wish, 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 wish. Because sabi ni Lord, if there's anything He wants na your heart is preoccupied with, your heart, Laman, laman. Not any other teaching. Sabi ko na sa una, not any other doctrine, but only grace. And in case po tayo ay magtanong, magtaka, and madali po kasing interpretation ng grace ang mga halat ngayon, is, uh, tayo po ay baka malito, anong klase itong grace na to, the Lord wants my heart, let the Bible interpret by God. Sabi po sa Amplified Version is this, sabi po, do not be carried about by different and varied and alien teachings. For it is good for the heart to be established and ennobled and strengthened by means of grace. At ano na itong grace na to? God's favor and spiritual blessing. Amen. God wants your heart established with God's favor and God's blessing. If in case hindi mo po kayo naniniwala, I prepared something po. Balik tayo lang kung pinapare ko ng PowerPoint. Alright? Masabi po natin ulit, Hebrews 13 verse 9. Sabi po, do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines. For it is good that the heart be established by grace. Not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. Grace there came from the Greek word charis. Meron po tayong Bata dito, anak mo na rin sa pangalan niya, Karis. Ang uh, nickname niya is Kring Kring. Noong po, uh, first time po ni Rex na pumunta sa bahay namin, at kami po ay nag-minister, he was enamored by grace. Yung heart niya na enamored by grace. To the point na bumubuluwak yung grace sa kanyang puso, yung pinangalan niya sa kanyang anak, Karis. Pero huwag po kayong mag-alala, hindi po na nalalayo sa pangalan grace, sa pangalan grace, sa pangalan grace. Yung ato po tayo kalapat. Yung aking anak na Grace. Amen? So, sabi po rito na um, grace. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng grace? Charis. Ang ibig sabihin ng charis is this. Goodwill, loving kindness. Can you repeat after me? Loving kindness. Nino mo? Loving kindness mo? No. Loving kindness and favor of who? The Lord wants. Na kapag biniyak yung puso mo, ang lumalabas niya is, mahal ako Lord. Amen. Uh, sabi mo rito, the Lord wants that your heart mo established by grace. What kind of grace? The charis kind of grace. What is this charis kind of grace? That si Lord daw mabagay, kasi may ng goodwill, si Lord mabagay sa'yo. Sumunod daw po, si Lord mapagmahal sa'yo. At sumunod, the favor of the Lord towards you. Maliwala po ba tayo ba? Now, uh, there is something here, because when the Lord said, that He wants your heart established by grace. Because the, the Lord knows, alam niyo po ba mga kapatid, na when the Lord looks at us, 
Sabi ni Bible is this, every issue na buhay na natin, nagpumula sa puso. Um, the, Lord, the Lord says, uh, please listen carefully mga kapatid. Kapag ang trouble bumasok sa, sa, sa buhay natin, first bumapasok po sa mata, then sa isip, bumababa sa puso. Sabi ni Lord, kapag yan ang nakikita mo, kapag yan ay iniisip mo, wala pang problema. So it's okay kapag naiisip mo yung problema mo, ngayon ka rin nakahiga naka, ka, yung hindi na parang maisip mo yung hardship mo, bakit ako. Pero kapag bumaba na ng puso, doon na nagkakaroon ng problema. Amen? Because why? Sabi po sa Proverbs is this. Sabi po sa Proverbs, Proverbs 4.23. Sabi po, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Amen? So when the Lord says, Sabi niya, I want yung puso mo established sa goodwill ko, sa pagmamahal ko sa'yo, sa favor ko sa'yo. Because alam ni Lord na yung puso mo is the one na nagko-contain na lahat ng problema na meron ka. And the Lord is saying to you today, instead of you in your heart, can you carry mo yung problem mo? Instead of it, ang gusto ni Lord, establish ang puso mo with His goodness towards you. Establish yung puso mo na mahal ka ni Lord. Establish yung puso mo na kahit may mga nangyayaring pangit, it will never touch you because the Lord's favor surrounds you. Another version, a new living translation, na sabi po is this, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines ang dobo. Ay! Hallelujah! Ano mo tinamang katabi mo ngayon? Anong laman ang puso mo ngayon, kapatid? Ano niyo mo, May? Meron pong, meron pong kata, hindi po ito kasabihan. So there's a pastor who declared it, then kumalat na po siya because it's isa po siyang study. May study na po na ginawa na ang sabi daw, the first 40 years ng life mo, right? Kung ano man yung laman-laman ng inside, first 40 years, pag pumasok ka na ng 41, lumalabas sa mukha. So kung sakaling for the first 40 years ng life mo, you are a hard person, parang lahat, parang hard sa sa'yo, pagdating na ng 40 first, nagkakaroon siya ng manifestation sa mukha. Sabi nito, guard your heart. Kasi kapag ano na yung meron sa puso mo, mag-determine yung course ng life mo. So kapag may nakita kang tao ngayon, matanda na, parang ang tigas ng mukha. You know why. Pag uh, yung, 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 yung tao na yan, puro problema. Yung laman-laman ng puso, you may not say it. Pero sabi ng Bible, nakapag naglaman daw ng puso mo, hindi pwedeng hindi lalabas. Kaya nang malalaman daw ninyo kung ano ang laman ng puso ng tao, kung ano yung kanyang laging sinasabi. Pero alam niyo yun, yung kapag ang nasa puso mo is this and this and this, heart, 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 heart. Sabi, guard your heart. For whatever ang laman ng puso mo, it determines the course, not of your life lang, your face. Pwede po magkakaroon ng challenge ng kami ngayon. Tingnan mo ngayon katabi mo. Pagpaka ba yan? Exerted? Ano ba? Below 40 pa siya? Exerted? But you would see. And there's a study na po na kapag ang isang tao, very optimistic daw, kapag ang isang tao, the way daw he views life is very positive. Makikita mo daw, pagdating daw ng 41, siya daw yung may night face. Because I'm going to guard your heart above everything else. Because it determines the course of your life. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine. If a laman ng puso mo is this. If, if what your heart has determines the course of your life, now you will see the wisdom of God. Bakit sinabi niya? I want you, your heart, Establish in grace. Because it is not dahil maganda ng pag-aaral. It determines the course of your life. The reason why the Lord wants na deep in your heart of hearts, ang niniwalaan mo, you're believing a lot of things, but what you're believing is, I'm the favor of the Lord. I'm the beloved of God. 
Jesus died for me because he loves me. I am the righteousness of God in Jesus. I do not deserve all of this blessing, but because Jesus paid for it all, I am blessed. You know what? It determines the course of your life. But the more you believe, the more your heart carry, I'm favored, I'm beloved, I'm blessed. It determines the course of your life. That's why makikita niyo po, bakit, maybe if you would notice, why are there people, parang they're so favored. Parang, alam niyo yung, parang sa mga nakakahingit, na lahat nila na sabihin, lahat nila nagdobin, parang laging favor follows them, blessing follows them. You know what, it's not because talagang favorite sila. Favorite sila, pero bakit sila laging favorite? Their hearts are established. Hallelujah. Bakit may mga tao na parang pinagsukluban ng tadhana? <laughs> kung, 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 kung may tao na parang ang, ang heaven bukas sa kanya, ito naman, hindi lang sarado. Sarado na, nakasilpa, nakapakit. <laughs> And then parang lahat na lang ng pangit na nangyayari. You know what? It's not because may ginagawa siyang mali. It's not because disobedient siya. It's not because hindi siya dedicated to Lord. Pag nagkaroon ng uh, exposure, ano ang meron na sa heart? This person believes in a heart. I, I, I have, have to do this for the Lord. I have to do ganito. I have to ganyan. That's why everything is shut down. Why? Because what your heart carries determines the course of your life. And I am challenged right now. And I would like to challenge you right now. Let your heart be filled with this. Amen. Let your heart be filled with the goodness of the Lord. Pastor Kim, pagod na pagod na ako maniwala sa goodness of the Lord. Walang nangyayari dyan. Um, ano yun yung, uh, hindi naman talaga good. No, alam niyo mo, there's a waiting part of grace. Pero the more you fill your heart with His goodness, meron din yung araw, lalabas yan. Because ang sabi ng Bible is this, whatever you hold in your heart determines your life. You are good in the morning. I sing. You are good in the evening. I sing. You. Alam niyo ba hindi siya normal? Because many of us, kasama ko ako, we judge our day depending on our experience. And then when we're in Bumangon, it's good. But isin natin sa biyahe na yun din is good. This is the day the Lord has made for us because. During that day, namit mo yung boss mo, pinagalita ka ng boss mo, may hindi nangyari pa rin, pagdating ng gabi, ito na yung sabihin mo, anong nangyari, Lord? This is not the day that you have made, maybe tomorrow. And Lord, today, I want to forget this day. Pero ako rin po sa Bible is this, sa kanta na lang, taken from Psalms 5, ang sabi po is this, You are good. In the morning, wala pa nangyayari, I declare you are good. In the evening, after na lahat mangyari, I say you are good. You know what you're doing? You're establishing your heart with goodness, with grace. Amen. 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 Keep on getting better. Keep on getting better. Keep on getting better. Ang ibig sabihin po, hindi po ikaw yung gumagaling. Alright? Para uh, baka kas kanina, may gumagaling, may sakit. Ah, I'm getting better. <laughs> no, ang ibig sabihin po nung kanta, the Lord God, in revelation mo sa Kanya, keeps on getting better. Ah, yung pala yun. Ang buhay mo nila, nag-awarili po ako nung pagkakita niya. Pero you know po, that's how the Lord wants us to establish by grace. That every day in your life, you keep getting better in your revelation towards God. Because the Lord wants you to establish grace. Amen? And there's something I would like to declare. Grace, without Jesus, it's sheep. Kasi alam niyo po ngayon, ginagamit niyo yung word grace, maraming bagay. Especially sa parking lot. Pwede po yung kasama nila, grace period. Nakapag ikaw pumunta doon, meron kang grace period, 5 to 15 minutes. Nakapag ikaw ay bumalis ka agad. Walang bayan, grace without Jesus is cheap. 
pwedeng gamitin ang grace. Sabi mo, madami mga tao, even believers to be flowing in grace, nasabihin nila, I'm very gracious. At ibig sabihin nila, mapakita ko. Parang yun lang yun. Lang. Pero, true grace, real grace, is all about Jesus. It's all about what He has done on the cross for you. That the Lord has been good. Na ikaw ay wala pang ginagawang tama. He died for you. Kaya po, nito po madami sa akin, the Lord wants you to look past the experience mo. Kaya sabi mo, Pastor Tim, how can I say na ma-establish yung heart ko sa grace? Eh, Pastor Tim, hindi mo nakikita yung mga nangyayari sa buhay ko. The Lord wants you to get past your experience because the ultimate manifestation of grace sa'yo ay hindi naranasan mo. The ultimate expression of God's grace sa'yo is namatay siya sa'yo 2,000 years. When, the, when I say, that the Lord is good sa iyo. I am not only saying that the Lord is good sa iyo dahil He answers your prayer. I am not just saying sa iyo that the Lord is good sa iyo dahil meron kang request, naging favor ka. No! The ultimate manifestation of grace sa iyo is that wala kang pinabang tama. Wala ka pang yung heart mo malayo kay Lord. But still, Jesus came down from heaven. Died a cruel death just for you to be saved. Doon mo siya i-judge ng kanyang kabahitan. Dito ko po. Huwag mong i-judge yung kabatilan ni Lord dahil lang sa nangyayari sa iyo at the present. I-judge mo yung kabutihan ni Lord. Pag sinabi na punuin mo yung puso mo ng goodness ni Lord, huwag lang nung present. Because the ultimate manifestation of God's grace towards you is what He has done for you 2,000 years ago. Ngayon, madami ka sa akin, is God really good? If God is really good, bakit may nangyayari na ganyan? Bakit may nangyayari sa Baal? Bakit may nangyayari sa ganyan? May mga nakikita ako mga believers na naliwala naman, is God really good? Don't judge the goodness of the Lord lang. Because you know, this is what I would like to declare. I would like to use this opportunity. If ever you are having these thoughts, for every person na ilalapit mo sa akin na nagsasabi, Pastor Ting, may kilalakot tao na nag-declare ng goodness ni Lord. Ito lang nangyayari sa kanya. Kaya ko pong magturo ng dalawang tao na nag-declare ng goodness ni Lord na may nangyari. So kung sakali tayo po ay magde-debate ng goodness ni Lord, may sa experience, wala pong mananalo. Kasi may naka-experience ng goodness ni Lord. Personal, may naka-experience ng goodness ni Lord, wala pa. Pero sabi ni Lord, the real evidence of His goodness towards you came 2,000 years ago sa Christ. So the Lord wants your heart established with grace. Everybody say this The Lord wants your heart established with grace. Amen. Ano yun po? Ewan ko po ako na pinakakalam. Um, parang hawa na nakatupo po kayo dyan. Where's the story? Parang nararamdaman ko po na ang kayo po ako ay nagkasalita ngayon, sabi ko, establish my grace. Parang ang nakikita ko po, aha, 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 asan ang story, Pastor Tim? You stand here every Sunday, ako ikaw ay nagtutura, bearing a story. Meron po, may dalawa po ang story. Pero gusto ko lang po ngayon sabihin today that the Lord was established by grace. Because right now, bago ko na yung mahalo ko sa story na ito, nababasa na, na ikakwento ko po sa inyo, hindi ko na po babasahin ng buho para dito tayo magtagal. Makikita niyo po how amazing it is when your heart is established by this. Because it will bring you miracles upon miracles. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I pray, dumating po tayo sa time na pag kinapangin ang gusto mo, may image. Or... <laughs> Right? Alam ko po si Paul, ganun, makikita mo, G, R, A, C, E. Alright? Pag may away sila, wala. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pero, alam niyo ba yun, that the Lord wants your heart established by this. Because you know what, sabi nga po, it determines your life. Because right now, we're going to, 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 to learn a story, listen to a story, that brought mighty miracles because of this. Are you ready? The story po belongs, ayun. Ayun po, nakaka, 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 ano nang may, may, ayun na yung story ah. Ayun po, kailangan ko po mag-establish, ini-establish ko po muna tayo sa pag-aaralan natin today. Right? The story is kay Zerubbabel. Right? I don't know if you are familiar with Zerubbabel. 
Alright? Uh, si Zerubbabel po, uh, siya po ay isa sa governor ng Israel during nung time na sila po ay bumalik from captivity. There, there came a time po sa buhay ng Israelites that because of their rebellion kay Lord, ito po yung story kasi nila, mag-rebel sila kay Lord, babalik sila, mag-rebel sila kay Lord, babalik loob sila, mag-rebel sila kay Lord, and then the Lord said, if kayo ay nag-rebel pa more, darating yung time, I will sell you sa mga foreigners. And then, they still did the rebellious, rebelliousness nila until such a time, a King Jehoiakim, the King of Judah, the Lord finally said, enough. Because of your rebe rebellion, enough. I would lift up my protection sa inyo and allow you na ma-conquer, ma-invade the foreign country named Babylon. Right? At nung Babylon po pumunta, what they did was they slaughtered eh, madaming mga uh, Israelites. And even yung pinaka-crown jewel ng Israel, which is Solomon's Temple. Yung kung Solomon's Temple, tinreate po ito ni Solomon. Alright? Kasi mo kaya nga po ang pangalan niya. Ang kapira ko mo patawanin today. Efekto po ito ng virus. Ito yung pula ko ng Ashpol. Ingat po kayo. What is in your heart? Determines the course of your life. Pag madali ko yung patawanin. Darating po yung... I'm sorry. Ayan. And... Dumating po yung time na ito pong uh, Solomon's Temple, crown jewel ng Israel, it was, it's worth today uh, around $10 billion. The temple lang. It's made of pure gold. Uh, it's so amazing. And then, ang ginawa po nung Babylon, yung time na kinaka na lang Israel, sa galit nila sa Israel, sinira nila yung temple. Kinuha nila lahat ng articles ng gold. Sinunog nila yung temple. Kinuha nila yung gold na nakabangit sa temple. And then, to make the long story short, it was left in ruins. So, ginawa po nila, the remaining survivors ng Israel, dinala nila sa Babylon. And then, sa Babylon, from here, natipo silang slaves for 70 years. And you repeat after me, 70 years. Right? But during this time, Dito po, para po maalala, para po magkaroon kayo ng idea, this was the time ni Daniel. This was the time ni Azariah, Mishael, and Hananiah, otherwise known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ito po yung time, during yung Babylon. Ito po yung time kung saan si Daniel nag rise sa ranks at sila po ay naging blessed ni Lord. Right? After 70 years, the Lord raised up a king by the name of Cyrus. Siya po ay king ng Persia, kinaker na yung Babylon. Pagkaker niya sa Babylon, ito po si King Cyrus na prophesy ni Jeremiah. And because dahil na prophesy siya ni Jeremiah, tuwang-tuwa siya, nakasama siya sa Babylon, he had a heart para sa Israel. Ginamit si King Cyrus para palayain yung Israel at sila ay pauwiin na from slavery, pauwiin pabalik sa Israel. At kung pauwi po sila, ang kanila pong pinaka-head, pinaka-leader, si Zerubbabel. Amen? Yes. Five minutes, nakuwento siya. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen? Tapos, ano po yung story natin? Sabi po sa uh, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 36, 22-23. <laughs> Now, in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing, saying, Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, For all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given me, and he has commanded me to build him a house, at Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is among you of all his people, may the Lord his God be with him and let him go up. It's an amazing story of how the Lord in, uh, in spirit up yung spirit ng isang hari para pabalikin yung mga Israelite. At hindi lang po sila pabalikin. Ang sabi ni King Cyrus is this, kinausap ako ni Lord sa isang dream. And even through a prophecy na kayo ay pag pinauwi ko kayo, papadalan ko kayo ng mga resources para i-rebuild ninyo yung Israel, most especially yung temple na sinira ng Babylon. 
Okay. So, si Zerubbabel, he came home. When he came home, dala-dala niya yung resources ni King Cyrus para i-rebuild rebuild yung temple. So, here he is, after 70 years, finally, uh, nakalaya sila, they went back home, they started rebuilding the temple of the Lord. Alright? According po sa Ezra chapter 3, hindi na po tayo mabasahin, kailangan po natin mag mabante ng sobra para po tayo ay uh, makuha natin talaga yung pinaka-message ni Lord. No, after niya ma ma build yung foundation, nagkaroon po ng problem si Zerubbabel. Found sa Ezra chapter 4. Sabi sa Ezra chapter 4 verse 1 to 5, The enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard that the exiles were rebuilding a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel. So they approached Zerubbabel and the other leaders and said, Let us build with you for we worship your God just as you do. We have sacrificed to him ever since King Esaharhadon of Assyria brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the other leaders of Israel replied, You may have no part in this work. We alone will build the temple for the Lord, the God of Israel, just as King Cyrus of Persia commanded us. Then the local residents tried to discourage and frighten the people of Judah. Thank you, Anak. It's just one new living translation. Uh, discourage and frighten the people of Judah to keep them from their work. They bribed agents to work against them and to frustrate their plans. This went on during the entire reign of King Cyrus of Persia and lasted until King Darius of Persia took the throne. So what happened? Habang nag-build na po si Zerubbabel yung temple, nangyari na po is nung makita na po ng mga tao around them na nag-rebuild na, nainggit or may galit, kung ano man yung kanilang reason, ginawa po nila, they tried na i-raid yung Israelite habang sila po ay gumagawa. They frightened the people. At worst, nag-send po sila ng false report sa new king ng Persia. Wala na po si Cyrus nun, iba na po yung king. Ang sabi po, pag niresearch po si King Arta Sexes na, alright, siya po yung asawa ni Esther. Alright, so, nung no, 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 send po sila nun ng, 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 ng report, ang sabi nila, may, may yung Israelite na dating a superpower is now trying to rebuild again. And now, mag-ingat ka king because in their heart is all about rebellion. So, nagkaroon po sila ng false report regarding sa building. So, ang ginawa po ng king ng Persia na to, si King Arthas Excess, nag nagpadala po siya ng command na to stop the building ng temple. So, ikaw naman, nagpadala sa'yo si President Duterte. May gumagawa ka ng bahay. Tapos, nagpadala sa'yo si President Duterte. Dahil yung copy bahay mo, ayaw ka magpagawa ng bahay. Nahihingit sa'yo, nagpadala na, alam mo ba na yan, nagpagawa ng corruption and everything nagpadala. And then nakinig si President Duterte, nagpadala na yun ng, ng ano sa'yo. Ano yun? Uh, hindi mo magaya si, Pres si, si, si President Duterte paano siya magsalita. Pagpaliin kita pag nagsimula ka. Uh, Nagtuloy ka. I, I, I don't know how, parang, parang may pag-ihingi yun. Pero imagine yung yun na receive nila Zero Babel. Alright? Uh, Tinry silang i-scare ng mga tao. Nung hindi silang ma-scare, they, they, they were rebuilding, they sent a false report towards the king na yung king po sinunod. And now, the work stopped. For almost 23 years. And then, the, the, the work stopped. Right now. Bago po tayo tumuloy, there's a message of the Lord. Kaya gusto po niya sabihin through this story. Right? The Lord wants you to know Kaya po na pinabasa dito, every time you try to build something for the glory of God, the Lord wants you to know that you have an enemy who is bent on trying to stop you. And you need, uh, the reason why the Lord wants you to know it, because He wants you to be encouraged. Kasi kung, ewan ko po kung napasin ninyo, for example, like isang worship, you are here, and then a challenge ka because a pastor came and said, na, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, if I follow down is the Lord, and then ikaw na nandito ngayon, you are challenged. And you want to build your family for the glory of God. 
And now that you are building your family, you are experiencing. Kung kailan ka lang mo nag-decide that you want to follow the Lord. Kung kailan ka nag-decide you want to build for the glory of God. Saka naman nag-rebel yung team. Saka naman nagkaroon ng problema sa anak. Saka naman nagkaroon ng problema sa asawa. Lord, what is happening? Ayaw mo bang gumawa ako? Ayaw mo bang magtrabaho ako? No, it's the enemy. And the Lord wants you encouraged. Kasi madami po sa atin, pwede nag-discourage. You're trying to build your business for the glory of God. Nagkaroon ka ng heart mo. Lord, I, 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 I want to start in a business. I want to just to trust you. I, I want, Lord God, na ipakita sa tao how blessed I am because of you. Kung kaya ka naman nag-start ng gano'n, sa kanila, may kontra dito, kontra dyan, kontra dito. And then, pwede ma-interpret mo yun. Lord, wala siguro yung favor mo dito. Lord, wala. Sabi mo, I am the beloved of God. Sabi mo, Lord God, bibigay mo sa akin ito. You, you promised me. Why are these things happening? Now the Lord is giving you the blueprint. It's not God. It's the demon trying to stop you from building something for the glory of God. Don't be discouraged. It's not God. I love it. Woo! Are you building something for the glory of God? And then you stop, and then you're looking to yourself, and you're saying, is something wrong sa akin? May ginagawa ba ako mali, Lord? And I'll be saying to you, through this story, it's not me, it's not you. The enemy sees your work. He's trying to stop you. Amen. of the demon ever since. But every time you see a person building something for the glory of God, and it may be you building your family to serve the Lord, building your business to glorify Jesus, building your career mo to be a, a, an example. And then, kung ka naman nagsalita at nagkawit na gano'n, suddenly all of these challenges came. And now, pwede na this heart and God because of many years, 23 years, Ang meron ko ba sa ito, umabot na ng 23. Pastor Tim, ako! Uh, para kung hindi ako mapahiya, si Moses 40. <laughs> kung may umabot ng 40, si Abraham! <laughs> I'm sorry. Pero, uh, are you experiencing challenges? You're building something for the Lord. Isn't it first an encouragement to know there's nothing wrong sa'yo? Amen. Amen. Ay, pasalo sabi mo, wala nang mali sa'yo. Amen. Walang mali sa prayer mo. Uh, walang mali sa puso mo. Walang, wal, walang mali sa paglapit mo kay Lord. It's not God. God wants to bless you. God loves to bless you. God even stirred up King Cyrus para mag-provide. The reason why is because there's an enemy trying to stop you. He knows how glorious it will be. Wow. He knows how amazing that business will become. He knows how your business na yan will bless people. He knows na how many na, na, na yung pangarap ni Lord na bless yung poor because of that business na yeah. bless yung poor. He knows yeah. he's trying to stop. He knows na yung anak mo has been destined for greatness. He, he knows na yung family mo has been called by God even before by birth. To serve Him and give glory to Him. And the, ngayon na ikaw ay may heart to build for the Lord. He's trying to stop. He's trying to stop. But ang um, um, problema po ni, ni Zerubabel, yung manifestation ng pag-stop ng demonyo, nag-appear ng literal. Um, hindi lang po kasi yung hari, uh, how many of you can, can agree with me na tayo pa siguro, yung hari ay um, tawag po dito, nagbigay ng cease and desist na order sa kanila. How many of you agree na pwede pa nila ituloy yun? But ang kasama po kasi nung cease and desist order is yung provision. Na yung, yung, yung Persia ay nagpapadala yung pera, nagpapadala po yung resources para mapagawa nila yung temple. But this time, not just yung hari na pa-stop, kasama yung provision, kasama yung favor, kasama yung protection. 
Everything stopped. Have you, ever, have you ever experienced in your life, everything stopped? What are the things? Is this part of your life is favored? Is this part of your building? Ano niyo ba sa Ezra chapter 3? Nung paglipo ni Zerubbabel sa, sa Israel. Nung paglipo nila yung foundation, nag, nagdaos po sila ng party. Sabi sa Ezra chapter 3, sayang, sayang, saya sila. Dahil, wow, the favor of the Lord is overflowing. Chapter 4. <laughs> chapter 3 yun. Chapter 4. And then, you could imagine Zerubbabel saying, where's the provision, Lord? Why did it stop? Where's the protection, Lord? Why did it stop? Lord, why? The Lord's answer first is this. You are under attack. The enemy wants you to stop the other. So they stopped for 23 years. And then, by the glory and the mercy of God, God raised up a prophet named Zechariah to challenge Zerubbabel. And do, do you know how the Lord challenged Zerubbabel? Instruction. Papaano siya tatayo? How many of you would agree na at this moment, nakatumba si Zerubbabel? Nakatumba siya sa calling niya? Talunan siya sa lahat? And then the Lord now is lifting him up. And may dala-dala siya instruction kay Zerubbabel. This is how you're going to finish the task I've given you. This is how you will rebuild. This is how you will stand. Would you like to know? Zechariah chapter 4. Amen? <coughs> Pwede bang sabi mo sa tabi mo, anong lang, meron ka bang pinibuild for the Lord the next time? Um, hindi ko sinasadya nung kumunod po kami ng Tuesday. Um, Inasign po ako ni Mami sa isang group. Nung natubo kami sa group na yun, may, may, may isang thing na lumalabas ng sa group namin. Parang, Lord, I want to serve you. I want my family to serve you. Pero at the moment, may, may, may pinagadaanan yung family ko. You know what? After this message, it's going to be revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that stop or everything that is uh, experiencing challenge, are you ready to stop you working there at demon and see the amazing power of God working there? Amen. Amen. So, sorry for the Zechariah chapter 4. Okay? Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Alright? Verse 5 po muna. Sorry, <coughs> verse 5 na lang para mapakita lang yung mobile text. Okay. <coughs> then the angel who had been talking with me returned and woke me. So Zechariah may nagasalita, as though I had been asleep. What do you see now? He asked. I answered, I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl of oil on top of it. Around the bowl, okay. lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on top of it. And on the stand, seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps. Two, two olive trees are by it, one at the right of the bowl and the other at its left. So I answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power. Oh, I love it. Anyways, let me say it with passion. Not by man, nor by power, but by my spirit. Let me put that in the interpretation of the verse at all. The first thing I want to encounter, that I don't know how I came to the conclusion that when I was a worship leader, na nagkaroon kami ng, ako ng revelation, na mag-base sa line-up, mag-base ako as the Spirit leads. Right? At ang reference guide ko, dun sa, uh, kapagawa may nagkaroon sa akin, Pastor Tim, paano ka ba nagpapakaawin, paano ako kumakanta, uh, sabi ko, uh, hindi sa line-up. Nag-line-up kami, nag-practice kami, but as the Spirit leads. Kasi so, pag, pag may mag-drop, nagpapaturo sa akin, anong reference mo, Pastor Tim? Ito, ang reference ko. Not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit, ang interpretation ko niyan, not my lineup, 
not by practice, but by the Spirit. Pero, little did I know that this verse is much, much more. Viewing your own context of kakapay na ko sa'yo, it's so beautiful. Now, how many of you agree po, mga kapatid? Na at this very moment, Zerubbabel knows he has no power to rebuild. Siguro, ati siya sa bahay niya, tinigyan na niya yung ruin ng temple, napapagyan na pa siya. Paano ko magsisimula? Ever experience it? Um, um, you're looking to a problem, you're looking to a, a family member, and then pagtigin mo sa kanya, makamaganyan ka na lang. How to start? How to finish? How to approach? Parang, and then, you could imagine sa Lumabel, na he knows deep in his heart, he has no capability to rebuild the temple. By the way po, mga kapatid, hindi po nawawala sa isip ni sa Lumabel, itong thinking na to. Sila na umuwi, galing ng Babylon, they number in the hundreds, maybe mga 700. May task sila na i-rebuild yung temple na ginawa ni King Solomon ng Golden Age ng Israel, na lahat ng gold pumapasok sa Israel, at lahat ng Israelite, thousands upon thousands ang tauhan ni Solomon. And here is their moment. How can I top it? Lord, we reveal. Look, uh, tumitingin siguro siya sa mga bahay na nandun. Sa, ginawa. No. Kung sa isang bahay na yan, hindi na, wala na tao dyan. And then, he is thinking, how can I possibly do it? And he knows he has no power. He knows he has no might. How can I build? How can I build the house for? Ganun yung kamilang, kamilang mag-asawa. Kailan lang. Um, uh, alam po ito ng mami ko, alam po ito ng uh, kawalit ko, alam po ito ng aking anak. Then, well, yung, yung, yung nilong ko sa pag-ibig. Alright? Kung kinitinala po namin mag-asawa, ngayon po na, nakupos na po namin siya. <laughs> yung yung loan namin sa pag-ibig, pag-ibig, nandun na po sa 100,000 na. Alam mo yun, nagamit na po namin yung dress. Tapos, ngayon po ito na lang mag-asawa. Kulang. <laughs> Paano to? Parang ngayon yung ibig, ngayon na po kami, parang, Paano to? Kulang. Imagine sa Lord. And imagine the Lord when He said, Here comes a prophet saying to Zerubbabel, Not by man. Not by power. Nakatingin si Zerubbabel, Lord, sino ang mga tao ang bibigay sa amin ng provision? Nagmamating si Lord, hindi sila. Not them. Not by power. Not by might. Not sa iniisip mo. Most probably, 
Kaya ni Lord si Zero Cabell. Kaya talaga niya ipilip. No avail for 23 years. And that it disappoint, that it depress, that the kakaroon of resentment. The first message of the Lord, you can't force this. Relax, breathe. Maybe say it. Come on, give him the best. I'm not sure if you're a believer in the Filipino, but I'm not sure if you're a believer in the Filipino. The little might we have. The Lord sees us with no might. The Lord sees us with no strength. But the little strength we have, pinipilit. The little might that we think we have, we force. Sabi na Lord is this. Don't force this. Kaling ko ba sa Matthew 11, 28? Message na sila. Ito ba sabi na Lord? Si Jesus na kasalita. When Jesus came, sa earth, na sabi niya is this. Are you tired? Worn out? Burn out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Alam niyo po kung anong isang karakteristik ng grace? Unforced. Hallelujah. Para nakaka-resipta po ako na parang Pwede bang sabi ko sa mga pa? Baka yung may ganda Pwede yung parang Just be You cannot force this test You cannot force this test You cannot force this test And then the Lord's first message sa'yo Not by man Not by God Kapag pinahin mong hawakan, nawawala, nasisira, the first message of God is this. And of course, wag mong ipili. Alright, nakasarado na anak. Huwag katok ng katok si Papa. Alright, kapos, pinapin tayo mong buksan. Nakahanap na madami susi. Sarado. Don't force it. Rest, relax, know that it's not by my hand. Amen. Amen. Balik ko tayo sa Zechariah chapter 4. Pastor Tim, ano yung ibig sabihin? Gigiwa mo lang ako na gusto ko yung anak ko. Yung anak ko ay... Gusto ko yung anak ko, no? Pastor Tim, gusto ko yung anak ko na maglingkod kay Lord. Kasi ako naglilingkod. Gusto ko maglingkod kami. Sinasabi mo sa akin, mag-ipilig. Bibitawa ko na lang yun. Ahayaan ko na lang siya. Hindi ako tapos yung message. Hindi ako tapos yung verse. Pero yung unang sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo is this. Bago ka gawa, yung pinagagawa ni Lord, huminga ka muna and say, hindi ko na yun. Not by one. Not by the heart, but by the spirit of God. Amen? So, sabi, this, uh, balik tayo sa uh, New King James, ano? So, he answered and said to him, to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by my, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Verse 7, Who are you of great mountain? See, even the Lord sinabi niya. Ang problema ni King Zerubbabel, great mountain. Do you see yung problem mo sa anak? sa career, sa business as great mountain, sabi ni Lord, pwede mo siyang kausapin. At sabi ni Lord is this, pinapasabi, imagine si Zechariah, kausap na si Zerubabel. I think Zerubabel at this time, nakaluhod na, nunguluha na, pero mapagkinig na yung heart, excited na siya kay Lord, na sabi niya, sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo, Zerubabel, ano tong great mountain sa harap mo? In your presence, it shall become a plain and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace. Ito po yung sinasabi ko kung bakit the Lord was us to establish by grace. Ito po ang pinagagawa ni Lord K. Zerubabel. Ang ibig sabihin ng capstone, kapag gumagawa po sila ng building ng araw, especially the bigger the building, ang pinakahuling nilalagay is capstone. Right? Kasi po siya yung pinakabaliit na, yung parang pinaka... yung pinakahay, parang yung pyramid, yung pinaka... Toto, capstone. Pag sinabing, you are now bringing the capstone, ang ibig sabihin nun, tapos na yung trabaho. Ano di ba ang pinasabi ni Lord kay Zechariah para kay Zerubabel? Matatapos mo 
yung trabaho na yan, not by might, not by power, but by shouting! Kahit kaya yung teenager mo na nerebente, hindi mo alam kung paano siya pag-uli. Sa akin na yung first, huwag mong bilhin. Sigawan mo, GRACE! GRACE! Nagkamali po kami mag-asawa. Dapat ang pangalan ni Ruth. Ang pangalan ko kasi ni Ruth, Katrina Grace Ruth Biran. Sabi ko rin kasi, kung may problema daw, sabihin mo sa problema mo, Dapat pala ang pangalan niya, Katrina Grace Grace Ruth Biran. What the Lord is saying, forgive me for the joke, what the Lord is saying is this, Now that you know it's not by might, now that you know it's not by power, what the Lord wants you to do is to say your problem, to shout to the challenge, to declare to the enemy, biyaya yan. To say, yes I know, I am undeserving na matapos ko yung building na yan. I am unqualified. Who am I compared to a king or to success? I have no connections. I have no money. I am disqualified to finish it. But I expect the best. Why? The yaya yan. I say, because of what Jesus has done on the cross, it is the grace. because of you, because hindi ka naging maayos, because hindi naging maganda yung pakikibong mo sa kanya, may resentment siya sa'yo, you can say to the demon, I know. But, kaya nga biyaya. Hindi yes. ako karapat dapat. Mali yung binawa ko. Mali yung pagpapalaki ko. But Lord, sabi mo yung heart ko, gusto mo establish ng biyaya. So ngayon, sinasabi ko sa kanya, Wala akong karapatan mag-expect ng best. I ruined it. I chose all the wrong choices. But Lord, I can expect the best. Diba sabi ko? How do you finish the problem? Not by force. Not by might. By saying to that problem. There's a story ko sa buhay namin. Nagpapagawa ko kami ng bahay. Nagpapagawa ko kami ng bahay. Um, nagkaroon ko kami ng problema sa pag-ibig. Nagkaroon ko kami ng problema sa pag-ibig. Kasi pinang pag-ibig na re-release ko sa amin ng pera. Parang yung standard form. Kung sakali mo kami po ay nag-low ng 3 million, ang ginawa ko ng pag-ibig, hinati po yun sa apat. Parang apat na faces ng, ng buwan para i-release sa amin yung pera based po sa pagkakagawa ng bahay. So, ako pa rin, natapos na po yung first matawag po kami sa pag-ibig, pupunta yung representative ng pag-ibig sa site, yung judge, kung okay na siya. Kung okay na siya, kung nagawa namin, si Chika Joel na forma namin, naging trust working, si Chika Joel may forma namin, nakita po si Slawa, kung kayo Joel, kaway kaway dyan, kaya Joel, kaya nakala nila. Amen. Kapag naging maayos po yung job, natawag po yung pag-ibig sa amin after one week, I-release na yung pangalawang check. And i-release ko yung pangatlo, hindi super. So, nung, nung, nung naubos na po kami dun sa pangalawang check namin, nung tumawag na po kami sa pag-ibig, kasi wala na po talaga kami yung funds, na ubos na yung talaga, even yung personal savings na namin, naubos na. Sabi na pag-ibig, o oh, sige, pumunta kami dyan. So, pagpunta nila dyan, um, nakita nila, nakulang pa yung aming uh, progression. Nag-email pa sa akin yung pag-ibig. Yung email pa sa akin yung pag-ibig is, Um, uh, we are expecting na by this time, 90% na yung natapos ninyo. 90% pala ko, pala yung cheque pa lang yung na-releasing namin. Sabi, we, will, we won't release yung pangatlong cheque worth hundreds of thousands until we reach yung 90. So, I was saying sa wife ko, Darling, saan tayo kukuhugot ng pera para dyan? 
And then, uh, my mom, being my mom, sabi natin po sa dati mo. Ako po rin sabi po rin sabi sabi, Mami, ayaw ko muna. Um, I don't know. Uh, I want to run to the Lord. Parang, um, uh, uh, I, 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 in the first place, I don't know kung mag yes or mag no. <laughs> um, kasi, uh, alam mo si Daddy, may, may, may mga instance ko siya na magtumakain kami dyan. Meron siya kong sermon. Yung sermon niya na, wala na pera, magtipid. Kaya <laughs> naman kami nangangailangan. May sermon na ganun. Wala na pera, magtipid. Paano ko malamit sa kanya? So, um, uh, I told my mom, Mami Pao, I don't want to come. Uh, come kay Dad. I want to run to the Lord. The next, that night, tumawag yung asawa ko sa pag-ibig to confirm na hindi nga pa marilis yung check -in. Sabi ng pag-ibig, hindi pwede, hindi talaga siya marilis until matapos namin yung 90%. Nasa 64 pa lang kami. Nasa 64% pa lang, hindi pa yung nalil. The next morning, may natin na Lord, dala-dala ko na po kung masin. On our sofa, I was saying, Lord, praise you. Lord, we're trying to build. Stop. Hindi alam yung mga trabahador namin na pwede ko na sila sabihin na gusto na. Wala na. Wala na. Wala na. Wala na. On that morning, I was in Christmas. After ko po, that same hour, nagpumupo ako. I'm sorry po para, after ko mag-miss, after ko in-meet si Lord, ang sarap sa kap, Lord, ikumumulo na yung chan ko. So, I ran sa toilet. Nala ko po yung phone ko para magpasapasa lang ng Facebook. Habang nala ko po yung Facebook, may nag-pop na message from Pag-ibig. The check has been released. I was saying sa po, Darlene, nagkamali yata sila. Nakatawag lang na hapang umak gabi na hindi po yung ito. Tawag siya. Ang tawag niya, sabi ko ang ibig meron niya. Pero nagtagdawag pa rin kami mag-asawa kasi alam mo yung parang baka naman na awa na, nag-release na konti. Hindi ko parang on your third check. The next week, we went, I went early in the morning. While driving, I was just in Christmas. Pero sabi mo, Christmas. Sabi mo, it's good that my heart established my needs. Christmas. I am not deserving. Christmas. So, I think it was a pag-ibig. Kaya ako muna check it. It's the exact amount of my love. Tawa ko na sa akin. Darling, it's grace. Sabi ko ba ito? It is good. It's hard. Who are you great about me? In my presence, you are a king. Because I shall. Di ba po tapos? Di ba po tapos? Nakubos na namin yung cheque. Di ba parang sabi ko, nakubos na namin yung cheque. Nakubos na namin yung cheque, eto na naman kami magkasawa. Lord, tapos na. Eto na naman yung aking mami. Happy sa daddy. I was saying kay mami. Mami ko. Ito ako ba? Tingin ko sa, alam ko na madami, may ginagawa ko si Dad na parang hindi ko lumamit sa kanya, siya yung lumamit sa akin, sa akin Dad, anak na balitaan ko na namang problema kayo sa pag-ibig. Na-receive ko na po yung check. Na-receive, alam ko na nagbalitaan ko na namang problema, panihihiramin lang muna kita. Pero ito po yung pagkasabi niya, word by word, anak, nailangan ko yan, ibalik mo kagad. So, kung ano po namin yung money, this time hindi pa po namin nagagawa, nagagalaw yung check. But kung na, na, tayo na po yung asawa ko, para sa mga darling meeting, kasi yung meeting time, doon sa mga darlings. Sabi niya, yung pinahiram sa'yo ng dad mo, hindi po namin ginagalaw. Kasi parang continuous yung money, naalala ko po, pag gusto ko na siyang galawin, narinig ko siya, anak, kung bago, kailangan mo yan, ibalik mo agad. 
Gusto ko lang umukay 1,000 na nakukuha ko ng anak. Wala lang ako siya. Ibalik ko. So, I was not already looking sa 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 money na yun. Here I am again. The next morning, sa shouting. That night, nagawit. Nandiyan po kami. Lumabas si tatay. Paglabas ko tatay. Anak! Doktor, dati ano po, kailangan ko ibalik. Sabi niya, anak, I have good to say. Ano yun dati? Wag mo na ibalik. Grace. 
I am shouting grace. grace. I am declaring grace. 